welcome to my art vlog my studio vlog i'm super excited as you can see that i just got my bookmarks um they were just kind of a test print and they turned out really well and i'm excited to put them on my shop in march but until then i'm doing the second gosh painting i didn't realize um that you can just basically unlid all these so what i'm doing is just making a swatch palette of all the different paints as i'm taking off the lids i don't know why i didn't realize that because pretty much every version of the kids i've seen they haven't had their lids on <laughs> but for some reason i was like oh yeah in order for it to remain liquid i have to make sure that i keep the lids on I don't know why I thought that, but again, this is just the second time I'm painting with it, so, you know, you can't, I like, I'm not gonna hold that over myself too much. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I think I'm happy that I did this, because I'm gonna end up cutting this page down and kind of using it as a guide for myself, um, just so I can know what colors I have and how they dry specifically how they dry is an important thing because you know you mix a certain thing with this medium and it dries in a completely different way sometimes so yeah so i drew a line because this is some expensive paper and i have another gauche set that i want to do the same thing with once i open it so i'm just going to cut that down but yeah Let's get into the second painting. There's a few things that I'm doing differently. You see, I almost made a mistake and started um, drawing when I wasn't supposed to. I was like, oh yeah, I need to tape down the edges because that would give me that nice clean edge that, you know, just makes everything looks more together. And again, I didn't have a plan. I never, I feel like I rarely go into paintings with a plan. Um, I just painted what I felt like painting that day. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I just started with like a sketch of a girl reading a book. I was like, I want to draw a girl reading a book. And I kind of just went from there. Again, no plan. I also realized I forgot to introduce myself. Hi. <laughs> if you've been watching Five Minutes In, I'm Lee, my art director, illustrator, designer, um, based in the Minneapolis area from Detroit. Oh, you can't hear it in my accent. Um, but yeah.
So this might sound weird, but this is always my favorite part of any painting is when just like the flat versions of the colors are down. And I feel like, especially with my digital drawing, I'm getting less into being more detailed with things. I, I literally don't know why. I used to draw, or I used to be very um, drawn to hyper-realism and drawing um, and what aimed to make things look very realistic. But as I've gotten older and I guess more experienced as an artist, I've, I get more interested in just like flat planes of color. That being said, I don't know how to leave things alone. So I don't really know how to reconcile that yet as an artist, but I'm sure, I just feel like in general, as I've gotten older um, and I guess more experience, I've just have been more drawn to more simple things. I'll say that and then I'll make the craziest, loudest, most noisy pattern. So yeah, it's kind of fun that I'm still figuring out my art style. Um, because what would I do with the rest of my life if I had my perfect art style just figured out? I don't know. I guess I'll read more or something. <laughs> but yeah, for now, it's fun to still just figure it out. Like the last breath of a sunset right before the day is dead but maybe the heat of today could keep even winter away so i'll remember your life cause nothing ever changes the fact that summer is for falling in love da -da 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 -da. summer is for falling in love
this is the point where I'm trying to figure out, okay, how do I want, like, what details do I want to add? Do I want this to remain flat like I was just talking about? Or do I want to do what, what I usually do, which is adding a little bit more patterning and things to the composition? And of course, I went with patterning because this is Leah really Make Noise and I make noisy things. So... Uh, part of that was also trying to figure out like what my girl is reading you know she's in this beautiful environment um, you know just your typical young upwardly mobile millennial <laughs> who has a crazy penthouse apartment maybe <laughs> I think those windows especially what they become is very penthousey and so, of course, she's reading about black girl magic because she's like manifested her surroundings and she's she just wants to read about other black films who have manifested their magic. I just was like, what's three letters that would fit nicely on here without me having to actually write out a title for this book? So, yeah. Black Girl Magic, she's reading about it, she's manifesting, she has some wonky hardwood floors, and she's living her best life. She's not going back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so of course, this is where I start to add in more detail work. And this painting for me, and if anybody else who's an artist, please comment below if you feel the same way but i swear every single time it doesn't matter what medium doesn't matter on what material every time i go into a painting it almost feels like i'm learning how to paint all over again like the first half is literally being like girl did you go to art school did you not do you not have well damn at this point it's probably like 20 years of art experience like girl why why you don't know how to do this and then somewhere halfway through it's like oh yeah that's how you think you do know how to do it you hear this all the time <laughs> and i always feel that i'm like halfway through i'm like did i forget how to paint <laughs> every time and it doesn't matter if it's on canvas with acrylics which is my normal medium um or even with this it's like when i first started out i'm like what hand what is you doing because you're not doing what i told you to do um but yeah at this point i'm starting i feel like i'm starting to get a better grasp on the gosh painting like the, the medium itself like in terms of how to handle it um and I think what I found, at least, is working well for me and the type of art I like to make is to wait later on for the darker elements. So that's what I did. I just tried to keep most of the painting light um, or add in those lighter details first and then um, go in to refine things with a darker um, values later on and I think that worked pretty well for this um, yeah the one thing ultimately that I would change about this whole composition is I would add in some sort of animal like, some, like a cat maybe curled up on the floor or a little pet pig or something I really want a pet pig one day and so yeah I think I need to start incorporating that into my art because I just I love pigs and I really want one one day but that pretty much means I probably have to live in a country somewhere and I don't know if that's part of my gospel in terms of like I would love it in terms of having land but and like just the like, nature and having like being able to garden and all that stuff like homesteading like all of that I'm obsessed with YouTube homesteaders like all of that 
I would be down for it. But then I just think about having to go into town to pick up some pickles or to pick up my tampons and like half of them being 45 supporters and me just being like yeah so I just had to find some hippy dippy smaller towns somewhere one day to settle down to um, if I ever end up doing that and then I can have my pig but until then I'm gonna start I think I'm gonna start drawing more pigs and animals that I love pigs and elephants. I really can't ever have an elephant without Alright y'all, I hope you really enjoyed this little random <laughs> gosh painting vlog. Um, I don't have a regular posting schedule, but I'm aiming to always have a video at least every Saturday or Sunday, or I have random ones like this where they come up. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. I know you hear it from other YouTubers all day, every day, but to like and subscribe, please comment all those things it really helps me out and I just want to hear from you all and build a little art lovers community or we could talk about pigs I don't know I talk about pigs way too much in this vlog but regardless I hope you enjoyed this video this is basically where it netted out I was pretty happy with the painting again this is only my second one and with this one I was like I wanted the goal was to get a little detailed than I had for the first one and we get the very satisfying peel off um, which yes very happy with that tip of using painters tape um, to get these clean edges again if you like this please subscribe I should be making more videos um, maybe a print version of this print will be up on the shop when it launches in March my goal is to grow this channel but also open start my own art shop and start self 
printing and self-producing so stick around if you want to see that journey of me opening my art shop um yeah thank you again for watching and see you later babies